Hey, how's it going? And today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm in a program called Moho Pro 12, and this is a 2D animation program that's good for making anime and also 2D animations. This is just a quick start video on how to do a basic animation. I think it's a fun way to get started with the program. It doesn't take very long to do. And if you're interested in learning more about this program, please leave a comment and tell me what you'd be interested in learning about, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so to get started, we're just in Moho and I'm gonna go file to new and there's our blank screen next thing we're gonna do is we go up to window go to window here and we're just gonna come down here to character wizard and this is a really great tool there's a, a lot of different settings you can change and customize here but we'll just leave it on the default that it is and then we're just gonna turn this slider so he's on the sideways we can click here and adjust his walk cycle if we want to and that looks good enough to me though. And then we're just gonna go, okay. And there he is. So now all we've gotta do is get him out of the frame first. So we make sure we're on the zero frame and then we make sure we're on this tool, the transformation layer. And we're just gonna simply click and drag him off of the frame like that. Then once he's out of the frame, we got to move to the first frame and you can see all these tools light up and you see it changed here. You can also enter the frame number in here, but when you move him off frame, you got to make sure you're on zero and then put it to one. Now, once he's on frame one, we can go back to window. We can go down here to actions and then click on walk. And then if we just come up here and this little icon that says insert reference, we just go ahead and we click that one time and then we close that window. Now, if we are hit play, you can see he's looping, but he's not, doesn't appear to be walking. So what we do is we'll just go back to the, when I get on the first frame again, so I'll just click one there. We go back to the first frame and then we pick the frame that we want him to go to. Um, I don't know, this is gonna be a pretty quick animation. So we'll just say 90, enter there. And then what we'll do is we're gonna just drag him here, that's our end frame actually. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to 89. And then we're just going to click and drag him. Whoops, I'm having a little problem with my mouse right now. I just make sure that's level. Just drag him like to there. And now if we go back to the beginning and hit play, there is our character walking now he's got a little bit of a slide going on there so you might want to adjust the frames but you get the uh, the general idea now once he's there we can move our move back into a zero position and if we come up here and go to file import let's see it is import custom object images photographs and oops photographs field it brings in this field and of course if you look over here just like in photoshop it's on the top layer so it's blocking him out and you just simply drag this down to the bottom and there he is and then if we hit play there he is walking across the field and like i said you could adjust the frame rate and all that to get rid of that slip and then when you're ready to render out all you gotta do is come up here to file, export animation, export animation. You just follow the prompts and set your frames and you are done. And so it's that simple just to get started with some basic kind of prefabbed animations that if you wanna do with the built-in character. So I hope you found this helpful. If you are interested in learning more about the program, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know what else you might be interested in learning. So thank you very much, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.